welcome and this is the scene here in North London. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and my partner ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk is Stuart Robson and very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Tottenham Hotspur and they take on Brighton. Thanks Derek. Well both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. Introducing the Spurs starting 11. Hugo Lloris between the posts. Hyung Min Son plays with Lucas on the flanks. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Now let's see about the cross. Well, pretty straightforward for the keeper, you've got to say. And Stuart, there's good reason to believe that Harry Kane's incisive presence could represent the difference today. Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Top-class defending. Kane takes the shot. Excellent block. And given away. Very quick thinking there. Pascal Gross. Great effort to keep that one in play. He's in control of the situation. Adam Lalana in the centre. The outcome is a goal kick here. Reguilon Lucas with it and a chance to whip it in here well they keep working away looking for an opening Rebier well he made that interception look routine in truth it wasn't really showing off his wide range of passing skills Wonderful challenge, and a throw-in coming up. Lalana, and he might be through here. On his own, with only the keeper to beat, but he's missed it, Stuart. Well, he went for power, but he didn't make the perfect connection. That's why he's missed the target there. Lucas, on the ball, Reguilon. Now a decent position. And it was straight at the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. Given away by Tottenham. Pascal Gross. Still passing it around with authority. It is to be a throw-in. Gross. Tremendous block. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. Lalana. Good pressure high up the pitch. 
A really sumptuous ball, flinging himself at it, the keeper. And he's fired over the corner. Not the best clearance. Gross. Pascal Gross. Gross. Takes the shot. And blocked for now. How can they find the magic they need from this corner? Well, still an issue here. Gross. The referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. An opportunity to level matters. No more time left. That is it for the first half here at the home of Tottenham. And the referee sounds the second half into action. Spurs with the lead here. Kane slips it through. Really needed to be spot on with the challenge inside the box. Well, it was a close call, but the fans are not happy with that decision. Joel Feldman. High quality defending. Spurs pushing forward with options available. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Will they profit from this situation? Well, the counter chance was there, but no more. Trossard. Now moving the ball impressively here. Interception to snuff out the danger. Textbook closing down and now they're on the attack. Well, as the stats show us, Spurs haven't enjoyed that much of the ball. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. It is to be a throw-in. Well, they've decided to make a change. Gives it a go! And no way through. This might be ideal for the counter. Dyer had the perfect read. And that puts them in position. And a goal it is for Tottenham Hotspur. Well on course for victory here. Well, here it is again. What a ball that is over the top of the defence. It's weighted perfectly. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, a second goal for them here. Getting right on top of their opponents and running it back. Twenty minutes remaining. Trossard. Can he get one back? Electing to cross into the centre. No, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Promising sequence. Very quick thinking there. This looks threatening. Son. It should be. And there it is. Another goal. And surely there's no way back from this now. Well, here it is again. And it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Now we're underway again, and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. Decent position, and an effective clearance. Ten minutes left for play. Oh, good vision. Lucas Mora. Kane. He's blocked it.
Trossard. On the ball, Cucurella. Pascal Gross. Joel Feldman. It'll go harmlessly through to the goalkeeper. Simple catch, really. Well, they get the ball once more. Mope. And there it is! A goal! But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Well, it's a tale of four goals in this match now. Three, one it is. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. And he gets away with a warning here. In my view, that's good refereeing. Strong, but not officious. And the referee blows his whistle, and Tottenham are the victors. They get the three points from this game. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, Lucas Moura, in typical fashion, kept asking questions. Sum up his contribution for us. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.